Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve this problem. Okay. So in this problem, we have to we, we have to find the equation for the demand and equation for the supply from this data point. And again, in the next part, in part B, we have to find price elasticity of demand and price elasticity of supply. So I'm not going to solve this problem because in the uh, previous question number two, I have already uh, you know explained you how to find price elasticity of demand and supply. Okay. So I'm not going to solve this uh, same thing again, but I'm going to explain you part A where we have to find the equation of demand. So let me write the equation of demand. So equation of demand. So let's suppose P equals to A plus B Q, where B is slope of this equation and A is intercept, right? So to find uh, first, uh, what is slope? So slope is just, you can find by this formula, that change in price divided by change in quantity right so what is the change in price so you can use any you know two data set point to you know find the equation of demand okay so i'm going to use this first and second one you can use any two okay so what is the change in price so if you see price has increased from three to six so we are gonna write six minus three okay and change in supply so uh, sorry change in demand okay change in quantity demand you can write because we are uh, we are using the only demand you know data so if you see uh, demand has you know fallen from 34 to 28 so we are going to write here 28 minus 34 right so you will get uh, 3 divided by minus 6 so if you solve it minus 1 by 2 would be the slope so slope is minus 1 by 2 now why here is minus we know that uh, demand slope is downward sloping that's why uh, we are getting you know minus sign in the slope now to find intercept a how we can find so we can use any data set point like i'm going to use this first one so at p equals to 3 uh, what is the quantity demand so quantity demand is 34 so i'm going to put this value here so p equals to 3 a we have to find so i'm going to write like this okay at b we I, we have already find out that minus 1 by 2 and what is the quantity quantity is 34 so just solve it and you will get the equation of demand okay so 3 equals to a minus uh, 34 divided by 2 that means 17 so from here we will get our uh, intercept 3 plus 17 which is 20 right so we got here our you know intercept so so our demand equation p equals to a plus bq so p a equals to 20 b equals to minus 1 by 2 q so this is inverse demand equation when we write equation in the p is a function of q so we call it inverse demand function to find demand equation we can multiply with the 2 here so 2p equals to 40 minus q so q equals to 40 minus 2p so this is the demand equation okay for this data point okay so similarly you can find the supply equation uh, to find supply equation also that would be the same process but i'm going to here you know explain you how to find it so supply equation p equals to a or let me you know assume others you know condition so we are going to use c plus d q okay so where is d is the slope of supply curve okay slope of supply curve so what is the change in quantity uh, you know so what would be the you know um, slope formula so slope formula would be change in price divided by change in change in price divided by change in quantity supply so here we are going to use uh, this data point okay now and the price for both so in the change in price we know that we have already found out that is 3 and change in quantity if you see here so quantity has increased from uh, 2 to 4 so difference would be plus 2 okay 4 minus 2 2 right so 2 so this is our slope so slope is d equals to 3 by 2 now we have to find a uh, quantity to so see so what would be the c c is our intercept again we can use any data point so here we have to use p equals to 3 and q equals to 2 right so p equals to 3 q equals to 2 and we uh, or we have already found d so put this 3 value in this equation so p equals to 3 uh, c we have to find and d equals to 3 by 2 and q equals to 2 so what will be answer 3 c here you if you solve you will get 3 so c equals to 0 right so supply curve would be p equals to 3 by 2 q or you can write like this q equals to 2 by 3 p right so if you put any point from this uh, data set so let me you know uh, 
verify this equation it is true uh, it is right or not so q equals to 2 by 3p now just put any point uh, from this data set okay so let me try with this third one so if you put here p equals to 9 okay so you have to you know you will get answer 6 so let me try 2 by 3 9 if you solve it uh, you will get answer 6 okay so from this point you can verify this both equation okay this is our uh, demand equation and this is you know supply equation i hope you understood how to find the supply and demand equation from the data set okay in part b and part c i hope you can solve it and if you if you cannot you can watch my previous video from this uh, series okay where you will get the answer and you will get the method how to solve it now let me solve and explain the part d okay so in part d in the free market what will be, what will be the us price so you know that in this question if we have to find only equilibrium price so equilibrium price you know that equilibrium would exist at the when the quantity supply equals to quantity demand okay so equilibrium would exist when quantity demand equals to quantity supply right at this condition so if you see this condition match here so if you you have to find you know equilibrium uh, us uh, equilibrium price so you will get only a uh, price would be 15 and quantity is 10 but here if you see in the question they have provided the world price is 9 okay so in the free market in the free market uh the us price will be also nine because the US, uh, world price is below than this uh, equilibrium price of the us so what would be the us price here it would be nine nine dollar and you can see at the nine dollar quantity supply in the us is six million and quantity demand is 20 million so you can uh, find out what uh, like us gonna you know import uh fiber and that would be qd minus qs that means supply uh, demand minus supply so demand is 22 and supply is 16 which means that 16 you know uh, million uh, they are going to you know import fiber okay so i hope you understood how to solve part a and d and you can find this uh, part uh, price elasticity in the previous video so go and watch that uh, or maybe i can you know uh, add the link of that uh, video in the description okay so i hope uh, you understood this concept and you have any doubt you can you know comment